Jesus in his teaching in Luke 21 verse 10 through 19 where he foretells of wars and persecutions that will come upon believers. But he emphatically stated, but there shall not adhere of your head perish in the midst of war, persecution for the believers not are here on our heads will perish. Good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. Thank God for another day and another opportunity where we could come and pray and meditate and hear the word of the Lord exhorted to us in a short way. And I thank God for this opportunity as we continue sharing on the fruit of the Spirit, a product that Holy Spirit wants to produce in us against the works of the flesh. And our meditation comes from Luke 21 verse 19. And it says, In your patience possess ye your souls. In your patience, possess ye your souls. The word of God to the people of God. Our soul has value to God. Our souls give us the capacity to know God and relate to God in a way that animals could never do. God made us in his image and his likeness. And then he breathed on us life. And then we became a living soul. And so to God, our souls are valuable. The soul acts as a connection between the material body and the spiritual body. Therefore, the soul shares some characteristics of both. And so the soul can lean either way. It can either lean to the flesh or it can lean to the spirit. We need to think about that. The soul can go either way, either towards the spiritual or towards the material realm. Being thus, it is the battleground. It is the place where the enemy wants to control. And Jesus said in the midst of persecution and trials and tribulation, he says, in your patience, in the product that the Holy Spirit will produce in us, in that, we must possess our souls. God loves us. And he's given us everything that pertains unto life and godliness. And patience is one of those things that he's given to us in the fruit of the Spirit. It's one of those attributes, virtue. I dare say, it is indeed a spiritual insight that God has given to us. And in that, when we allow the power of love which covers us, when we allow the power of peace that insulates us, and more importantly, joy that causes us to have that which the world cannot give, when we allow those things, those fruit, to produce in us, patience comes forth. And in our patience, we could possess the greatest value, which is our soul. And our soul can lean to the spiritual rather than to the flesh. God will get the glory. He will get the praise when this happens. Father, we thank you today 
for revelation and understanding and knowledge. More so wisdom to apply. We praise you for this gift. We praise you for Holy Spirit that produces in us the fruit of the Spirit and cause patience to come forth in the midst of trials and tribulations and wars and persecution. In it, we can possess our soul when we allow patience to mature us, we allow patience to cause us to grow. We give you thanks today. And we give you praise for every believer today who would give way to Holy Spirit and allow fruit of the Spirit to manifest in us. We will hang around love. We will talk about the peace of God, the joy of God. We will allow these to influence us so that we may become more like you. You breathe into us and we became. May we now mature. May we now grow in the things of God. We commend those who lead the nations this morning including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament, leaders everywhere, particularly those who lead in the body of Christ. We say, Lord, have your way. Touch now. Families everywhere. Cause us to be the foundation of Holy Spirit to live and to move and to mature us. We give you praise for parents. and Thank you for children. Thank you for family, the unit that you've ordained. May we live above all that the enemy will bring to us today and overcome. We thank you for healing, healing of the body, the mind, and the soul. We praise you for comfort, those in bereavement, and those, oh God, who are challenged. We thank you for peace, and we give you praise even now as we ask this in the name of the Father for salvation for those who are lost today. Cause the gospel to be heralded them to hear and respond and cooperate with you even now. We thank you for evangelists and those prayer warriors. We thank you for the instruments of God on the earth. May we be used today for your honor and for your glory. We give you thanks in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you as we go forth today allowing patience to manifest in us. In it, we will possess our souls. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.